some things up today with our little girl chat because that wheel over there is filled with topics from you, our viewers. Now we've got our audience member, Nellie Ortiz, over here. Yeah. 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 So, uh, Nellie Punkett, let's get us another topic. Yeah. Yeah. She's jealous of you, and there's something there. And I would be like, no, Ma, she just, she loves, and like weird things happen, rumors would get spread. And you'd be like, where did this come from? And it would always somehow get back to her. Wow. But I would yeah. like defend her, or, and my mom would be like, that girl is not your friend. She's, you know, like a friend of me. And um, turned out to be she, she absolutely was. And it wow. took me a while to get older to realize that. Did you guys ever think about, you know, when, when you notice somebody jealous? This might be extra, but I'm known to be that sometimes. Do you ever try to think about why they're being jealous so that maybe... Because sometimes it can be... What's your name? Like, sometimes some women, um, they don't... The jealousy comes up as, a, as a symptom. Insecurity. Of going yeah. Insecurity, man. And, and, and they're not always bad people. Meaning, I've had friends where they, they came off jealous, but... They're such good people, and I see the potential in them that after I would still, I would encourage them and put all the attention off of me and put it back into them, that it, it would actually heal them from that and let them believe that That's themselves nice, more. Well, I think it's two <laughs> types of jealousy. No, I swear, it's extra. I'm not going to be able to make that. No, I think it's two types of jealousy. I think it's a, a, mm -hmm. a healthy jealousy or envy that, you know, like, oh, you got a job. I'm so jealous. Yeah. Oh, you got a beautiful baby. I'm so jealous. <laughs> You speak a foreign language. I'm so jealous. You know, oh, you short. I'm so jealous. You know, that's a thought right there. You know, yeah, yeah, yeah. it's pretty yeah. yeah. I had a friend that yeah. would do this. Tamar, what would you do if every day if you told somebody, oh my God, you know, my, my Tamar collection just came out. I'm so excited. And somebody said, must be nice. Oh. You a hater. <laughs> Somebody that would do that literally must be nice to take vacations. Must oh, be nice. Wait, I'm so good. Here. Only do it, do it for me, do it for you. Wait, wait. What if, but what if that same friend is a friend of yours and they're just going through something in their life where maybe they're not See, seeing a money? This is the problem. You gotta stop putting everybody in your friend category. That's, stop that, number one, because everybody is not your friend. Everybody's not doing well. Yes, everybody but don't you want don't to succeed and do good. Yes, but you can help. But you can. If there's somebody in this in your circle though, and maybe like they're just they're going through. Like I've had a friend who's going through financial struggle and then and you she, go on a vacation and then she you know she kind of expressed the same thing she was like oh i don't know what that's like and i'm like well let's look at your work index but like, jenny you are not too much real but i am a friend that person is a friend of my life i am not going to give up on them if they're all right all right yanla all right <laughs> Let's look at 